Are abs a sign of health? Do you need abs to be healthy? No way, man. No way. I've got meth addict friends who've got <laughs> more ripped abs than I have. Abs are not a sign of health at all. Definitely not. And even in women, man, when I see women with abs, I'm like, wow, you're doing drugs and you're fucking calorie restricting and you're going to fuck up sooner or later and you're a real basket case to be around right now. So abs are definitely not a sign of health. Not in women. In men, not really because you can do drugs, you can just starve yourself, dehydrate yourself, take skin thinners and get abs. doesn't mean you're healthy though. So abs, what, what are abs? abs? Abs don't really mean much, man. Abs are more of a fucking vanity thing or whatever i just flash them to say oh, look at me you know i'm fucking doing well but re reality is man abs don't mean shit abs don't mean shit an ab doesn't mean a strong core because you can strip it all down and have a weak i mean i've got a pretty weak core as a cyclist in mind i don't use my core like a gymnast does so if you compare me with a gymnast you know there's plenty of gymnasts out there who've got a little bit of a gut who can definitely have a lot stronger core than i do why because they use it more but i might appear to have a stronger core because i've got less fat and fluid on my stomach. So it's a more of a physical appearance thing than a performance thing, definitely. Because look at the guys who have the sit-up world records. They, they've normally got a bit of a belly and a little bit, you know, bit smooth and sleek. They're not like shredded and ripped. No way. And look at the guy who's got the world record for the human flag. Again, a little bit chubby, but still massively strong core. So abs don't really mean that much. They don't really mean that much. Don't focus on getting abs. It's, it's a pretty... Uh, if they, ha if they happen, great. If they don't, doesn't matter. Don't worry about don't worry about the stomach muscles, man. I don't, definitely. I don't worry about them. They're just there. That's not something I'll focus on getting. I could get way more ripped abs if I focus on that. What, what would I do? Well, I'd make sure I was uh, glycogen depleted and I'd get dehydrated and uh, take some skin thinning drugs and take some caffeines and just drug myself up and just be a fucking nutcase to be around. That's what I'd do, but that's pretty pointless, man. To, to destroy your health in the, in the pursuit of you know, some men's health cover, whatever. It's just not what I'm into, not what I'm into. So abs aren't a sign of health. Abs don't really mean much. What you want is a trim physique overall from healthy living and healthy eating. That's what you want. Get over this whole, my happiness depends on my single digit body fat levels and fluid levels on my stomach. Get over that mentality because that mentality will just fucking crush you because eventually body body weight's always going to fluctuate throughout the year, at least 10 to 15%. So when you try and control that, you're going to fucking go crazy. It's like trying to drive down the road. The road's going to turn eventually. It's going to have a curve in it. You're like, no, it's not. I'm going to fucking keep driving on the straight road. I'm going to keep driving on the straight road. And you're driving, driving, and coming to the corner. No, the corner's not there. The corner's not there. And bang. No, my body weight's changing. No, it's not. I'm going to control it. I'm going to constrict it. I'm going to do it. This doesn't happen, man. You've got to relax, eat healthy, live right, get the early nights, and let the body do its thing. 10, 15% fluctuations every year. Up and down, up and down. That's just how it is. Look at nature. You always got the fluctuation. The mango trees are fruiting all year round. Mango stops, bananas come in or whatever. Or well, the bananas are fruiting all year round. Then one month they're more, one month they're less. It's just how it is. In nature, there's always fluctuation. I mean, look at a spider. Some, some, some weeks they're small, some weeks they're bigger. There's always fluctuation in body weight in nature. That's just how it is. And when you embrace that and learn that and accept that, Life's a lot easier. So if you've got abs or you don't have them, it doesn't fucking matter. What you want to focus on is living with purpose, being healthy and fit, eating right, contributing to your community, being a, a steward of the planet. That's what fucking matters, man. Forget this whole ab focus, man. Just because you've got abs doesn't mean shit. <laughs> it doesn't mean shit. Just because i got abs doesn't mean shit, man. It doesn't mean shit at all. So don't worship people because they have abs. Don't worship me because, oh, Ali's a fucking lean. It's like, it doesn't mean shit. It's who we are as a person that what matters more it's how we contribute to society it's how we look after the planet that's what matters more that's what should be on the front of the men's health magazine but unfortunately we we get told to worship fucking bullshit so let's get around that and start following our hearts living with purpose thanks for watching